个。Good morning. So now for today we have a private driver and a car. We just came to Nanpu uh, temple. And yeah, I have basically no idea uh, what's the plan of the day. My wife booked this trip and I'm just following wherever we are going. So behind me is Nanputo temple, but unfortunately you cannot film inside and I want to respect them, so of course I didn't film. But yeah, really nice beautiful place. And on now behind me over there, there is um, University of Xiamen, but we didn't book time, so we are not going there, but it's over there, you can see. Next stop was the beach area and we got a little bit background story and history of this area. So the, on the other side there is islands. Those islands over there, I'm not sure if they can be even seen on the camera, but those, all those island, islands, uh, they belong to Taiwan. Now we took a stop, uh, some kind of Taiwanese uh, wishing tree. Uh, before we were planned to take a stop in the God of the Sea temple, but unfortunately it was closed. And then we went to little shopping area. There's like those sea pearls and they showed like how those are get from the seashells. But yeah, other than that, we have been driving quite a lot, seeing nice views. Alex fall asleep. There was going to be a possibility for a boat trip, but um, because Alex needs his nap, so, and we, we, we thought that it's not a good idea to take a nap in a boat, but yeah, so we, we probably gonna skip that option now. Let's see. 我们这边的老人家呀有三高哦，也可以就是在路上跟我们聊这个问题。说，Yeah, so Alex woke up and we uh, attend this kind of uh, tea ceremony. I have never been in one of these before, but it was really nice. Uh, even I didn't understand, of course, most of the things, but Yen translated quite a lot. So there was like one tea. Uh, they ask after you drink it and take a little bit water. 
uh, if it tastes like bitter, then it means that your liver has this and this problem. If it's uh, sour, then this and this. Then I ask, okay, what if it tastes uh, sweet? <laughs> then I was worrying, like, well, okay, what is that? But yeah, that's normal. That's how it should be tasting. If it's sweet, that means you, you don't have anything abnormal. Yeah. But yeah, it was really nice. Nice tea ceremony. Yeah, so we came to eat. Uh, it was really nice dinner or lunch. Uh, we had fish, soup, shrimps, uh, pork, eggplant, tofu and other vegetables. And from here, and of course the driver ate with us. And from here we are going to continue to harbor uh, and take a ferry to an island called uh, Gulangyi, Gulang something like that, Gulang Island. And it's a very famous tourist uh, destination over here. And what I read is that uh, cars are not allowed at all. Like it's like a historical place. So that's where we are heading next. So now we are going to some old governor, governor house. Yeah, that was it. Now we are at the ferry terminal and we are going to Bulang Yu Island. Uh, it seems that I'm the only foreigner here, but this is very popular uh, tourist destination among uh, Chinese people. And it is like UNESCO's World Heritage Place. And as I mentioned before, there's no cars at all. It's some kind of historical place. But yeah, the ferry should leave in like 15 minutes, so we have a little bit time to take some coffee at the Starbucks or something. But yeah really nice trip and really super nice day so far and then do the ferry Oh, so on this island there is 931 protected uh, buildings, streets and gardens. So yeah, this has some uh, historical value. But uh, I think the main reason why this is so popular uh, 
for Chinese people nowadays is they have make some made some um, movie or TV series Chinese one over here. So everyone is taking same kind of similar photos and videos such than in those movies or TV shows. So yeah, that's what everyone is doing here. So this is the name of this island. Mm. These are very popular in China. Uh, like strawberry and some kind of jelly on top of them and then it's frozen. snack time so we are going to do nighttime laundry now good evening it was a really nice day a long day but we did a lot of things and we saw a lot of things so overall it was Super nice, but yeah, it was actually funny when the driver found out that uh, in Finland there is only 5.5 million people. He told that in Xiamen metropolitan area there is 5.7 million people just in this one city. And it's not even big city on Chinese standard, if I remember right. It's not even in top 20 biggest cities. Yeah, so sometimes I wonder how small countries like Finland, how our economy can even operate. 